All right, so this is one of the most important questions on my channel, on the community forum. The question is, what is the fastest possible residency? A lot of expats are like a lot of residencies. One of the biggest issues is it takes time. Sometimes it takes up to six months or even more, and that's not acceptable. If you want a residency right now, what are some of the options that range from literally a day, the same day? <laughs> It's true, the same day. And some of the, one of the best residencies is available on the same day. And then I'm also gonna discuss a range between anywhere from one day to 30 days, right? What are the residencies that fit this criteria? This is one of the most important videos. Before we deep dive into this, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to turn on the bell notification and subscribe so you don't miss any important details. There are a lot of changes that happen to programs and I cover them on the fly. So make sure you're subbed. The other thing is if you want to be an advanced member, we, there's a lot of discussions that happen behind the scenes where advanced members are often recommending topics, insights, etc. If you aren't yet an advanced member, you can uh, hop onto the description. There's a link to join uh, the channel membership now let's deep dive in some of the feedback right so the two options which i said leave them aside because i've been talking about them a lot for a long time which is mexico this is the favorite option for almost all the people the reason why this is the most uh, favorable option is because you can directly qualify through active income so it's not qualifying income it's any active income that you have you can directly qualify for the Mexican residency. The other big advantage is that it doesn't really matter if this is temporary or permanent. It still leads to the citizenship uh, in the same time. The other big factor is it's flexible. So there's no residency requirements, no minimum physical requirements to maintain this residency, right? Towards the end, when you're applying for citizenship, you do the minimum physical presence and then you're eligible to apply and that takes care of a lot of problems. So that's Mexico. Leave that aside because I have been covering this for a long time. Uh, the second residency, which again, I have been covering extensively is Argentina, right? This is also one of the fastest in a few days, right? You get the residency card. It's a plastic uh, temporary, a temporary, temporary card that you get instantly. And then you wait for a couple of months and then you obviously get the main one, the final one, but that initial one takes care of all your problems. Again, the threshold to qualify for Argentina, the multiple options, several options to get residency in Argentina. The biggest uh, USP of Argentina is that this leads to citizenship in just a couple of years, right? You can apply for citizenship and student visa, medical visa, so many options. Uh, the investor route is through $2,000 approximately USD in a business. That's not the preferred route because in this, then you got to show benefit to the country. It requires more documentation and it's up to the discretion of the authorities. The easiest one is through passive income of anywhere between 1500 to $2,000 and that's it. It could be a rental income. It could be any form of passive income, could be dividends, which qualifies you. And then you can instantly get your residency immediately. The other big advantage with Argentina is that you don't have to get stamped, right? If you have visa free access, just enter Argentina. We can start the process and get you started. We have uh, really good attorneys, both places, Mexico, as well as Argentina. A lot of people would be interested in starting both at the same time. So you have that opportunity as well. The mo if you are interested, always click the link, book a call. We can discuss which one is the best or if both fit your criteria, we can get you started with both. All right, now let me introduce some options that our advanced members uh, recommended or pointed out, right? Important feedback, even from the community, especially our advanced members. The first one over here is Forza Milan. And he says Paraguay is easy and a solid paper residency. Argentina, according to him, is one of the worst with a declining economy and a passport you can't renounce. Now, let's leave Argentina aside, right? It depends from person to person. Some people are okay with not being able to renounce this. It really doesn't make any difference for them. Regarding declining economy, it really is a question of whether you're looking for the passport, you're looking for the beautiful life in Argentina, or you're looking to make money in Argentina. If you're looking to make money in Argentina and you don't speak Spanish anyways, that's out of the question. If your intention is to get the residency, the citizenship, the beautiful life, the time on the ground and your business 
businesses run elsewhere outside of Argentina, then it makes a lot of sense, right? So uh, let's leave that part aside. Let's talk about Paraguay. Yes, Paraguay is very fast. There's no qualifying criteria now for the temporary residency. At least before with the permanent residency, you needed 5K in the bank and then you, there was a certain process you, got to, you had to run. Now, literally the qualifying criteria is some amount of money to sustain yourself in the country in your bank account your passport your police reports and then you can easily get the paraguayan residency anywhere between seven to seven days to 30 days right very straightforward process we have one of the fastest agents that supports paraguay again if you're interested we can get you started a uh, paraguay repeated a few times crypto nerd our other advanced member also says paraguay for now is the fastest yes it is the fastest because you're looking from anywhere between seven days to 14 days right at the upper end let's say max time 30 days usually doesn't take more than that time right so paraguay for sure is a repeat one that people mention uh, jenny's travel our ad other advanced member uh he mentions panama he questions panama now panama has multiple options one of the best things with Panama and this has excited a lot of interest and our channel was one of the very few channels to even introduce this option a lot of agencies or attorneys don't know about this option is the v is is not the vip the vip residency i'll get to that in a bit that's the fastest in panama but the one that i really wanted to talk about is the passport a travel passport not a citizenship it's a direct passport without getting the citizenship you're bypassing the whole red tape you're directly getting a passport you can use this for travel purposes again if you're using this for european travel always best to get a confirmation from the embassy nonetheless in theory this is, is supposed to be a real passport passport with all the bells and whistles that an actual Panama passport gets you. Again, border guards, their interpretations, all those things aside, in practicality, this is a good option. And to get this Panama passport, all you're looking at is generating an income from inside of Panama. The income threshold is 850, which is very modest. This really translates to a CD or a fixed deposit of 250 to 275K. So that's the amount that you park in a bank. So the bank is going to pay you interest. You're going to generate 850 a month. That's your income. This is not going to be taxed because Panama is not going to tax you on savings income, right? They have some exclusions and this is a territorial tax system. So it's we're not going to hurt your other tax structures. So this is a beautiful option. You're not only getting paid, right, to hold your funds in Panama, but at the same time, you're getting a passport and immediate passport literally takes two to three days on the upper side, let's say seven to 10 days. That's how fast this application moves. Once you have that particular residency, this is a specialized residency. This is very different from other residencies. Once this residency is in place in a couple of weeks, you have your passport and you are on your way traveling on a Panama travel passport. Now, the fastest option in Panama is slightly different. It is the qualified investor program. Now, this is like a VIP sort of a residency where you're putting in 300K up until October 2024. The prices drastically go up after that. A lot of people are interested to get in before October. If you invest that much capital in property, if you're putting it in a bank, then it's 750K. But if you, let's say you're buying a property to, you know, for yourself or for rental purposes inside of Panama, then an immediate permanent residency. The Qualified Investor Program is an immediate permanent residency, gets you all the perks that Panama has to offer. All right, I hope you liked this coverage. If you did, give me a thumbs up, make sure you're subbed. Any point in time, all these residencies, we fully support them. We have great attorneys, fast attorneys in all these locations. We can easily get you started with one, two, three, or all these options. All right, catch you in the next one.